Hello, I'm Seema and welcome to part 7 of the videos titled Bohr's Model for Hydrogen Atom. I'm going to solve one more numerical from the NCRT exercise. The question is the 17th question in the second chapter for class 11. And the question is calculate the wave number for the longest wavelength transition in the Balmer series of atomic hydrogen. We know the Balmer series are formed when an electron jumps back from higher energy levels to the second energy level. That is, n is equal to 2. So for Balmer series, a formula was given by Rydberg. Let us write down that formula first. The formula for the energy dissolution here, the formula for the inner wave number of Balmer series is 1.097 into 10 to the power 7 meters inverse and into 1 upon n1 square minus 1 upon n2 square. For Balmer series, n1 is 2. So, for Balmer series, n1 is equal to 2. Now the question is, you have to calculate the wave number for the longest wavelength transition. Wavelength and wave number are inverses of each other. That is, wave number is the inverse of wavelength. Since wave number is the inverse of wavelength, if you want the longer wavelength, the wave number should be the smallest. And if you want the smaller wavelength, wave number should be largest. Therefore, that is possible only the smallest, the longest wavelength is possible if there is the smallest wave number. And therefore, the difference between N1 and N2, N2 should be the least in order to have the longest wavelength, wave number corresponding to the longest wavelength. And that is why the value of N2 becomes the least. Balmer series would be formed when an electron jumps from the third shell to the second shell, fourth to second, fifth to second and sixth to second. So the difference here, the least would be between second and third. Therefore, N2 should be equal to 3 in order to fulfill this condition that it should be the longest wavelength. In order to be the longest wavelength, the wave number should be the smallest. So the difference should be the smallest. So how do you solve this according to it? This would be equal to, the wave number would be equal to then 1.097 into 10 to the power 7 meter inverse because wave number is the unit of wave number is the is the inverse of wavelength into 1 upon 2 square minus 1 upon 3 square therefore this would be equal to 1.097 into 10 to the power 7 meter inverse into 9 minus 4, 2 square is 4 and 3 square is 9 and 9 into 4 is 36. Therefore, this wave number would be equal to 1.5236 into 10 to the power 6 meter inverse. So that's your answer. Wave number would be this. So you were supposed the only trick here was this part where it wanted you to calculate the one for the longest wavelength. Therefore your tendency would be to calculate between 2 and 6 but actually it is between 2 and 3 because wave number is the inverse of wavelength. That was the only catch here. In the next question, although I'm not going to be solving it, I would like you to do it. In the next question that is in question number 2.18, there again is a catch. They've given you the question, I'll just read out the question for you. Question 18 says, what is the energy in joules required to shift the electron of the hydrogen atom from the first Bohr's orbit to the fifth Bohr's orbit 
And what is the wavelength of the light emitted when the electron returns to the ground state? And the energy of the ground state is given to you, which is minus 2.18 into 10 to the power minus 11 ergs. So the trick, it is the same formula that you would be using as we used in the previous video. The difference between energy calculation of delta E. But the catch here is that they've given you the energy in ergs and they've asked you the energy in joules. 1 erg is 10 to the power minus 7 joules. So all you have to do is convert it into joules and then solve your question. So this was all about the Bohr's model for hydrogen atom. In the next video, we'll start studying what led to the quantum mechanical model. Thank you for watching.